Good morning, students. Today is Monday, October 5th, 2009, and you're watching Lion TV Jumpstart. I'm Rachel Salvani. And I'm Jordan Morris. Next up, we've got Caitlin Johnson with clubs, Drew Wilson with sports, and Sean Cannon with your local weather. And we're back. Now for the question of the day. The question is, the manly clothing item we call a kilt originated in what country? A. Ireland. B. Germany. C. Scotland. Or D. France. The answer will come on later in the show. Now get ready for Caitlin with your clubs. Hello, I'm Caitlin Johnson with your Searcy High School Club announcements. FCA will meet tomorrow at 5.30 at the Fieldhouse. All of those students who are helping out with the Fields of Faith will meet following our huddle meeting. All of those interested in going to ASU football game day need to sign up at the Fieldhouse. Crown Club members need to stop by Mrs. Holman's room and sign up to help decorate for the Sunshine School Carnival on October 19th and to participate in the Carnival on October 20th. Also, you need to bring a cake or 12 cupcakes to the Carnival for one hour. There will be a food drive meeting next Tuesday in Mrs. Treadway's room after school. The Key Club meeting will be tomorrow morning at 7.35 in the cafeteria. That's it for clubs. I'm Caitlin Johnson. Thanks, Caitlin. Visit www.searcylionpress.com to make sure you didn't miss anything important. Group pictures and individual retakes will be taken today. Retakes begin at 7.45 in the library and go through the end of first period. This is the last opportunity to have your individual pictures taken, so make arrangements to be there. Group pictures will begin during second period. Next up, we have Drew with your Lion Sports. Hey, I'm Drew Wilson, your Searching Lions Sport Announcements. The ninth grade football boys defeated Russellville East last Thursday with the final result being 47-20. Basketball season is only a month away, so it's time to start thinking about the design for Superfan t-shirts. Contact Blake Gladden or myself if you have any ideas. Here's some details about the volleyball match last week. The Lady Lions volleyball program is in its first year, but looks to be off to a good start. Um, we've come a long way. Um, we've had not very many um, practices, but um, we've been doing really well, keeping up with everybody. Linda Wilburn explains there's more to volleyball than just the physical side. Um, we practice really hard, we really push ourselves, and during the games we stay really focused and we keep each other up, that helps us a lot. Even though the Lady Lions have yet to win their first match of the season, Coach Brown is happy with the progress they're making. We're improving a lot and I'm really proud of the girls, all the things that they're learning. I mean, seven weeks ago, they'd never even played volleyball. They never touched a volleyball before. The Lady Lions helped to build on the progress they're making this year with all their starters returning for next season. So I think that in the future, we can have a good program. We just have to build it up. The team's next match will be Saturday, October 10th in Batesville. For Lion TV Jumpstart, this is Blake Glad. That's it for sports. Now back to Rachel and Jordan at the news desk. Thanks, Drew. Now here's Sean Cannon with your Searcy weather. Good morning, Cersei High School. I'm Sean Cannon, I'm the weatherman, and we're gonna do some weather. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Monday, today we have a high of 71, a low of 66. It's a partly cloudy, mostly sunny, gorgeous day. Tuesday, high of 80, low of 59, 50% chance of rain, so I guess flip a quarter. Heads, it might rain, tails, it might not. We don't really know. Wednesday, high of 74, low of 56. Partly cloudy on Wednesday and Thursday, mostly sunny, beautiful days in there, Thursday high of 70, low of 58. Friday high of 73, low of 52, 60% chance of some precipitation, so be watching out for that at the end of next week. Let's hop over to the Almanac, partly cloudy, beautiful day. 
That's all right, you can tell our high today is 71. Our average is 82, so we're actually doing pretty good. We're low below that. Uh, record is 96, set in 1938. Pretty warm for this time of year, actually. Our low today is um, 66 with our average 51. We're a little higher than that, but we're still on a good track, still feeling good. Our record low is 37, set in 1999. Pretty cold. That's all I got for weather. Let's hop on over back to the news desk. Thanks, Sean. Jumpstart made a few adjustments to the studio last week. Here's Hunter Gooch and me with the story. Dina Kimberling from Let There Be Light recently came to Miss Romy's TV broadcasting class to fix a few problems and to teach many students about lighting. Well, you ended up with some lighting equipment and a studio, and what we decided to do was to come in and work with students in order to be able to um, uh, u utilize the lighting that you have, to be able to put lights in the proper place, focus lights so that you have a more evenly lit studio. Starting at an early age, Dina has had many years of experience. Got into lighting, I guess I was uh, around 14, um, took an interest in it in the theatrical end, uh, later went to college, uh, got my degree in uh, theater arts, uh, focused a lot on lighting. Uh, when it came time to look for a job, I uh, ended up uh, finding an opening at a theatrical dealership. Many of the students in Jumpstart realized that there were multiple things to learn about lighting. She basically taught us what to do with the lights, how to adjust the lights using certain tools, how to adjust the, the wattage on the lights, um, where to position them to get the best lighting for sets and the talent, whether it be on, for television or acting. She taught us how to use different kind of lights to reduce the, the glare and especially uh, shadows, either behind you or in front of you or on the set you're actually on. The students also helped reposition the lights to keep them in place. They're pretty much all out of place and we pretty much redid everything in the studio that had to deal with lights. For Dina, teaching the students was well worth her time. Any time that you have students that are interested to learn, there's always something that you can, you can teach someone. So next time you watch our news, see if you can notice the difference in our lighting. For Lion TV Jumpstart, I'm Jordan Morris. If you'd like to watch that story again, you can visit www.searcylionpress.com. Now for the answer to the question of the day. The question is, the manly clothing item we call a kilt originated in what country? Your answer is D, France. Well, I believe that is it for this episode of Lion TV Jumpstart. I'm Rachel Salvani. And I'm Jordan Morris. Don't forget, if you'd like to watch the whole show again to make sure you didn't miss an important announcement, visit www.searcylionpress.com. And remember, a fight is always a food fight when you're a cannibal.